Hey guys, so today I'm going to be eating some. So I got me some You Pick 2's, I got me a salad, some of their new chicken tikka masala, they came with some chips, I got me a sandwich, and an apple, and I got me a muffin, and some of the margarita pizza. Okay. So I'm going to start with the soup. So I got the chicken tikka masala. I would have normally got the chicken noodle, but I wasn't really in a mood for chicken noodle. And I was thinking about the Mexican straight corn, but I wasn't in a mood for that either. So this is what it looks like. So let's dig in. Because at my local um, Panera Bread, it's almost always sold out. So I happened to be on the other side of town and got me some of this. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That's real good. I say there's like some lentils. I can taste the curry seasoning. Taste me some of some of the chicken. It looks like beef rather than chicken. See so you guys some tomatoes. Yeah. It's got some pretty good spice in here too. Mmm. That is so good. Oh my god. I'm not a huge Indian food person because it can kind of stink and not look appetizing. This is real good. Mm. And I think there's some rice in here. Yeah, there is. I'm getting some potatoes too. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I kind of taste like a chili almost. Mm. Mm. So, do you guys find that? Panera bread is worth the price. Because I don't know. Like, because Panera bread, <coughs> it's labeled as a bakery. But honestly, to me, Panera bread is like glorified cafeteria food. It's like their food, they're even like high quality. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna crack me open some chips. I didn't get any of the bread because most of the time I find the bread a bit too hard. Anytime that the bread is way crunchier than potato chips, it's a problem. Mm. Honestly, I wish this chicken chicken masala wasn't that salty though. Yeah, I'll just save the apple for later. Honestly, this is getting a bit too salty to me, so I'm gonna have to come back to it. Yeah. Aw, I don't have any dry. 
resting with my salad. Mm. So I'll just eat my sandwich. I got a turkey sandwich. Honestly, it's the only thing on the menu that's really like low calorie. So why I got it. And is there enough mayo on here? No. They didn't even put any mayo on my sandwich. Damn it. Good thing I got some from the little thing. The fact that Panera Bread is literally charging about five bucks for a sandwich, a plain old sandwich, it's just criminal. I mean, this is a regular basic sandwich. It's nothing special. It's just got turkey, a lettuce, and tomato. Do you think they charge extra for the bread? Panera Bread style is more like a cafe than a fast food restaurant. Because when I'm there, people are always there chilling, doing homework, or doing any type of work. I remember my cousin got banned from Panera Bread. You know, I took a few bites of my salad. They didn't even give me a fork either. They, well, I'm gonna be fair, they were kind of busy. And I saw that one of their ovens for like the pizza, it broke down on them. And they were using wires to like try to make it work. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. So I am going to be just eating a bit of salad, not a lot. So lucky for me, I had some dressing, some Caesar dressing in my fridge, so I'm gonna be okay. And is it me or has the portions got smaller at Panera Bread? Cause I could have swore they gave you more for your money. Especially the salad. I used to come in like a carton container. I know you get a bigger size portion when you dine in, so. Yeah. That's it on my salad. 
I'm so much so disappointed. Didn't get that much salad. Now, on to the yummy part. Ta da! The margarita pizza. Take my muffin out of the wrapper. I got a pumpkin muffin. I do love me some pumpkin. And I'm not afraid to admit it. So, where do I attack this at? Attack on the sides. Yep. Hopefully they cook this thing. Hmm. Valerie off with all the cheese and toppings. this whole pizza is like over 900 calories Especially when the cheese gets stuck to the roof of a box. <laughs> I'm gonna need a napkin or nothing. Thin sauce. Mm, not thin. Mm. The pumpkin muffins were really good. Look at that. Mm. It's real good. Mm. Oh my god, every bite is so moist and Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. That is all right. Yeah. Mm. 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 I love pumpkin muffins. And pumpkin loaf. So good. Like in the inside of this, it's pillowy. The texture is not dry at all. It doesn't taste dry. And it's got some nice spice. And the top of the muffin, it's like crushed. Yeah, that's a little good. I wonder how you make muffins like this. Mm. Muffin, 10 out of 10 for me. The rest of the food, painfully average. The chicken masala, it was alright. Not the best. In fact, it was a bit too salty. 
the pizza. Mm. I usually like the margarita pizza, but today it just tastes very underwhelming. I don't know what's up. And I'm so glad they got better chips. Because before, I used to never like the chips because they were too hard. But now, they're pretty much just right. Mm. Eat some more of this muffin. This says, do not microwave this container. This container is meant to not be reheated. That's freaky. Mm. Mm. I'm stopping myself with this muffin. I don't care though. Mm -mm. Mm. This muffin is sitting all the right places. Can you believe this muffin is like over 350? It's like 360. So good. Excellent. Get the pumpkin muffin at Panera Bread. Woo. Woo, thank you guys for joining me for Panera Bread. And yeah, I think Panera Bread is honestly glorified cafeteria food like their food is just like any other fast food place they come in like packages and bags it's really nothing special maybe their desserts i could see why but everything else is like eh eh i wonder what made them so popular you would like please hit that like and subscribe button i'm aspen thank you for joining me